what's up? Today I'm going to be teaching you how to make a stupid butterfly. One second. Ugh, it's stuck. Okay. Looks like that's just going to be there. Wait, one second. Just going to like push it back. Okay. Hey guys, what's up? Today I'm going to be teaching you how to make a DIY pencil holder. What you're going to need or custom made is a can. It doesn't matter what size, I just used a can, which was that big, pretty big, that big, yeah, that big, okay, from the top to the bottom, okay, some acrylic paint, and the paintbrush, which I forgot, so I'll, so I'll be right back. One so if you have a tube like this one, or something like this, I'm using Apple Barrel and Basics, or Liquitex, acrylic paint. So, yeah. And I grabbed a paper plate because I need to squirt the acrylic paint on it. So, we're going to start out by... Um, Washing out the can, which I already did, and peeling off the paper, which I also already did. Behind the scenes. Okay, before I decide to make this video. Okay, so, in case you didn't know, I have the paper plate, and I'm going to squirt this color and this color, and I'm going to mix them, because that's going to make like a really pretty light pink. So let's do it. That's a lot. Okay. Yeah, I didn't get any paint in my mouth. That's a first. Okay. So this is what it looks like right now before it's mixed. And now we're mixing it. I grabbed two different types of paintbrush. One smaller one and one bigger one because I'm going to paint the whole can with the bigger one and do a quick design with the smaller one. So I'm going to use my bigger one to mix because that's the one I'm going to be using. Okay. If it's not the color you want, you can always add more white or more red. Obviously, it wasn't the color I wanted, so I added more of something. Just kidding, no idea. So, this is what it looks like now. And I'm just going to start by painting. Oh yeah, that's looking good. So, you're going to do about two coats of this. Because, as you can see, it actually looks super thin. That looks super good. So the reason why I'm using acrylic paint is because acrylic paint is thicker than washable paint. And washable paint would just wash off. So this is like a pencil holder, not like a pencil case. So yeah, I'm going to finish painting this and wait for it to dry before I do my second coat. So I'll be right with you. finished doing my first coat and this is what it turned out to be. I did not paint the bottom because that's going to be like the last part and now I just put fingerprints on it so I am going to have to brush over that. So yeah, that's the finished product for right now. kind of looks like a lot of metal. So since it's not that thick right now, I'm probably going to actually do three coats. But you can only do one, two, whatever you want. If you like this, then you can only do one. And you can also like pick the color. I'm probably gonna make another one of these soon. And probably do teal. So yeah. Sorry, I'm just adding some finishing touches. I think that looks pretty good. And now I just wait for it to dry. I'm going to put it in the sun so that it dries quicker. And yeah. What's up? I'm back with my painted can and my plate and my paintbrushes and my paint and my whatever. And my plate and my paint and my whatever. And I'm just about to repaint because it's dry. And it's only been like 10 minutes. 
I think. <laughs> I lose track of time because I'm playing my Nintendo. So I'm just going to mix it again and do a second coat, maybe a third one while I'm out here. But, yeah. I think that's good. Yeah, okay. I'm scared. Is that a bug? Okay. Mix, 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 mix. So right now I'm just trying to mix. Because, like, I'm a little, little famous YouTuber that always talk like this. Oh my gosh, I need some red. Okay. So this is totally the color I was hoping for, actually. It's just my paintbrush is getting a little thick. See that? Anyway, I'm just going to do, like, a second coat. And no, that is not the color. What the heck is that color? Okay, it's pretty, though. We're going to go with that. Do you see that? Do you see that difference? Yeah. One of them is so much lighter. We're just going to go with it. Just going to paint it. We're going to see how it turns out. And then we'll customize it. I just realized I did not put it on time lapse. That's funny. I don't really need a time lapse anymore. I'm too cool for that stuff. That was an ugly face. I don't know why I did that, guys. Please help me. Quarantine is making me go crazy. Like, literally, I'm crazy. So, yeah, there it is. Pretty, pretty. I like it. I like this color now. That it's all over the can. Okay. So now I'll go put it down to dry. I forgot to stop the video, so I'm just going to take you with me. There we go. It's in the sun. And, okay, yeah. So, what I did was I just barely kind of took my paintbrush and went over all the spots that I thought needed was like a bit metal-y. So now my complete look looks a lot better um, in my opinion. It looks like this, which I think looks amazing. Okay. And so what you're going to do now is you're going to take whatever color you want your name the first letter of your name to be, which is E for me, so I'm just going to kind of like, or you can do your initials, whatever you want, and so just put that color onto your plate, grab your paintbrush, oh my gosh, what the heck, my house has very old art supplies, dip it into the paint, and now you're just going to find where you want it to go. Like you deaf or something, bro? What? Did you not hear me? I said Aubrey. I said Aubrey wants you. I was filming a YouTube video. Thanks. So I literally just took um, the same color and I went over all the parts that I thought had metal on them. So now you're just gonna take the color of paint you want, dip it in. And then you're just going to paint the first letter of your name onto your pencil holder. For me, it's an E, so I'm just going to be painting an E here. You can do as many coats as you want. I'm going to only do one because this is how it turned out. Pretty cool. And I love it so much because it's personalized. And it's pretty basic. So, yeah. You can also go and add like details with the paint marker, which is probably what I'm gonna do. So, yeah. So, I'll get back to you if I decide to go in with the paint marker. 